this video, I will show you on how to do the Leopold's maneuver. The Leopold maneuvers are used to help nurses determine fetus presentation and position. The maneuvers have four specific actions that nurses must perform. Nurses use this process along with the assessment of the maternal pelvis shape to determine if complications will occur during the delivery and if the patient will require a cesarean section. There are four steps on how to perform Leopold maneuvers and these are Maneuver 1, Fundal Grip Maneuver 2, Umbilical Grip Maneuver 3, Paulix Grip And lastly, Maneuver 4, Pelvic Grip Here is patient X with 24 weeks gestation Before doing the procedure the nurse introduced himself, explained the procedure, and instruct the patient to empty her bladder before performing the maneuver so that she will be comfortable and the contour of the fetus is not obscured. Put the patient in a comfortable position with her knees flexed. Lastly, Make sure that the hands are warm before coming in contact with the patient's abdomen. Rub the hands together vigorously to prevent uterine contractions and use the palm of the hand instead of the fingers. First is the fundal grip. Using both hands and facing the patient, palpate the upper abdomen. The nurse should use this method to determine the shape, size, mobility, and consistency of what he or she feels. The nurse should feel that the limbs and shoulders contain little bone processes that move with the fetus trunk. The head is firm, and hard, round, and moves separately from the trunk, and the buttocks is symmetric and feels soft. Next is the umbilical grip. While still facing the patient, the nurse should apply deep pressure with the palm of his or her hands to palpate the abdomen gently. Perform this maneuver by placing the right hand on one side of the patient's abdomen while using the left hand to explore the woman's uterus on the right side. Repeat this step on the opposite side using the opposite hand. And also, the nurse should observe that the fetal back is smooth and firm. The extremities of the fetus should feel like protrusions and small irregularities. Third is the Paulix grip. During this step of the process, the nurse must identify the part of the fetus that is above the inlet. The nurse must use the fingers and thumb on the right hand to grasp the lower abdomen area located above the pubic symphysis. The findings should validate what is determined in the first maneuver. And finally, pelvic grip. This step should be done while facing the patient's feet. The process involves locating the fetus probe. The nurse should gently move the fingers on both hands toward the pubis by sliding the hands over the sides of the patient's uterus. In the site where the greatest resistance to the descending fingers is the location of the bro. A well-flexed fetal head is located on the opposite side of the fetal back. If the head is extended, the back of the head is felt on the side that the back is located. A head that cannot be felt has likely descended. After the procedure is done, don't forget to thank the patient. Wash your hands. Document gather data. That's all. Thank you for watching. God bless.